How are you doing? This is Rob Deerdeck, skate entrepreneur, and this is what my day looks like. Oh, I like to consider myself a coffee-driven visionary, right? Now, my greatest work has come through early morning caffeine buzzes. That's when I, I rip through emails, you know, because it, it's so hard for me because I'm all over the map and like, you know, it, it's like that quiet time, seven to nine is, is usually, nobody's really calling me, nobody's uh, really bothering me. People underestimate how much your physical body affects your decision making, your mind, every last thing. I mean, it's, it's from vitamins to eating right and, and, and committing to having a strong body. It's just the reality of the stronger you are, the less energy you use on a, walking around. You know, for the most part, I don't take meetings before 11. So I, I, I sort of build my whole schedule around uh, my morning and the, and the working outside of it just so it's not compromised. You know, the only, the only way it really becomes compromised if you begin to schedule into into your time. You know, so for me, it's it's really important that I, I really don't uh, take a meeting if that's you know shooting TV, doing voiceover, doing whatever. You know, going skating. You know, whatever it is, it never happens before 11 down here. Some days it's street league. Some days it's 100% wild grinders. You know, some days it's just you know, miscellaneous stuff with the foundation or whatever it may be, I, you know, which which loses, usually leads me to about one o'clock before I feel like I'm dying again from starvation, you know, and, you know, it's coffee in the morning, espresso and nitrous in the afternoon, and that's when another grand creative explosion happens. You know, stability and, and, and creative thought and, and strength and, and making decisions and being decisive is inside structure. You know, but I, I think there's also too much structure starts to, to, to drown that creativity, you know, and sort of, sort of bind you know, it. When you're doing a million things and you have all these big projects, you go through these incredible, like, waves of excitement and low. And, and for me, I always, you know, my whole thing is that I have, you know, at least four massive projects at once. So they, ne it's very rare that they all dip at the same time, you know what I mean? To where I'm just like, in a, like, frozen solid, like, oh, everything's coming to an end.